good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we need to take a look at a bunch of news that's been going on in the Pokemon TCG. And we need to start off with something that a couple of times I've said, I'm sorry, I can't show you. Well, now I can show you, ladies and gentlemen. I can show you the Great Tusk and Iron Treads EX tins that are coming around with Paldea and Fates. It took a while. I'm sorry. I told you guys that as soon as we could see them, we would. They are now out. We can see them. And we will. So, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's just one of those things where... They didn't show them. It kind of makes sense, of course. The other day, they showed off the Charizard tin, but they didn't show off these two. And the reason is these are brand new cards. They're not actually based on full arts like most of the shinies are. So they didn't want to show these off because they were brand new cards that we'd never seen anywhere else before. But then in Japan, on Friday, they did go and show these cards off. So with these cards, the shinies being shown off properly in Japan, that basically opened the runway, so to speak. And that means that they went and got revealed here. I personally am a huge fan of this. I'm a big fan of these coming out in tins. I know not everybody is, but look, I, I like Iron Treads. And I like Great Tusk. And the reason I like them largely is because they're derivatives of Don Fan. And I love me some Don Fan. I am a Don Fan. So having these is cool. And look, th these are going to be two of my most wanted ones anyway. So to get them in tin so I can just go and pick them up super easily makes me very happy. And again, it is worth noting these are brand new cards. We do get the regular versions. They have been confirmed to be in Paldean Fates as well as in Shiny Treasures EX. And now we've got these shiny versions. And I know the player base as a whole isn't loving them. They don't look like phenomenal cards. Be lying to you if I said they did, although I do still like Great Tusk. But I know I'm very much in the minority, and I know I'm biased, and I have admitted that more than once. But now, if you do want them, they are very available. The shiny versions are very easy to get. I do worry a little bit. We see this sometimes, where they basically... They release the same number of each of the tins. So they'll come in, like, boxes of nine, where you get three of each tin... And one of the tins is a Charizard. I, I do kind of worry that we might end up in a situation where every game store gets boxes of these in. And then all of them just have the Charizard picked out super quickly. And then the Great Tusk and Iron Treads are just sitting there forever because people don't want them as much. I do! But I know not everybody does. Uh, also worth pointing out that like I showed you the other day with Charizard, there are both landscape and portrait versions of these tins. The portrait versions are the European versions. Historically, they have four packs in. And the landscape are the North American versions that have five packs in. Although with some recent sets, we have actually had both types in Europe. So just something to keep an eye on. Just bear in mind the portrait ones where you can't see the whole card. You only get four packs. The landscape where you can see the whole card, you do get five. I'm definitely picking up both of these tins. I don't care whether it's portrait or landscape. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm picking them up because I want these shiny cards. I want my Don Fan peeps as shinies. The fact that they're coming makes me very, very happy indeed. But the other day, I told you I couldn't show you these. Now I can. And I have. So we can move on to another Charizard piece of news. And that is the fact that there is a Jumbo Charizard promo that has been spotted. Now, I do need to tell you, at the moment, it's only been spotted in France. Outside of France, I've, I have not seen this anywhere. That doesn't mean that you're just not going outside of France. And more on that in a new story in a moment. It means that at the moment... It's only been seen in France. Shout out to Zelios who did share this with us. And uh, we got Dracofu EX, which is, of course, the French version of Charizard. And it is like we generally see with these jumbos. We got a regular card, but it's been blown up to a jumbo. And then they've gone and put the logo of the set, in this case, Obsidian Flames, or the French version thereof, at the bottom of the artwork. And boom, that's what we've got. Regular Charizard. Same as it is there, except you jumbo it, you whack the set symbol on, and you're off and rolling. 
And, and I can't tell you if it's going to be available in your region, okay? Unless your region is France. In which case, I can tell you it definitely is available in France. That is true. Outside of France, I cannot tell you one way or the other for certain whether it will or will not be available. What I can tell you is we, we've seen this a lot of times at this stage, all right? We know that these things generally don't tend to stay exclusive, but it is often the case. You know, these things aren't always announced. They sometimes just show up in shops, and it is absolutely possible that what's happened is that it's gone and shown up in shops for the time being, and it's going to end up in shops in other countries in the not-too-distant future. What I will say is, if your region generally tends to have these jumbo promos, you're probably getting the Charizard. And as for where the Charizard is coming in, I mean, look, which shop usually has these where you live? Find the answer to that question, you will find out where is giving them out. In the UK, we tend to get them in game. So I am fully expecting this Charizard to show up in game. And I'm going to have to go and spend £15 on Pokemon TCG products. That's not confirmed, but that's always the way it is. And then I'm going to get this. And I'm absolutely going to go and do it. Like, honestly, it doesn't take much for me to want to spend 15 quid on Pokemon products. But if you're going to go and give me this as well, yeah. Sounds good. Sounds like the kind of thing I definitely want to do. So for me personally, yes, I'm going to be going to game. I'm expecting it to be in game. If they are in game, I'm going to pick them up. Outside of that, I'm afraid it is one of those things where you need to figure out where it is in your particular region, where they tend to show up, and just keep your eyes open. I don't have any dates. All I know is people in France have been picking them up. That is the only thing that is confirmed right now. Everything else is just me extrapolating from what we know previously. But it seems like in France, they are out, they are real, they are legit. And while we're in France, I'm afraid I do have some bad news. The lovely Primal Lugia over at Poker Guardian has let us know that the Poker Post event in Paris has been cancelled for circumstances beyond our control that this could mean any number of things some people have suggested it might be due to recent world events i don't know some people have suggested it might be because scalpers can't behave themselves and that there is a risk of kind of scalpers turning up they didn't want to deal with i don't know and to be honest if that was the case you would imagine that that would be kind of everywhere not just in paris i wish i could give you the answer I can't give you the answer as it stands at the moment. I don't know. But I did come along the other day and I told you about Poker Post happening. I told you I was very excited. And it did seem kind of mean at that point if I then didn't also come back and tell you that the Paris one has been cancelled. Uh, for what it's worth, I cannot confirm at this stage. But I am looking to maybe attend the one in London on the 19th. So I'm not promising or any of that. But I am looking to potentially attend the one in London on the 19th. So if anybody was thinking of popping down to that one, I might be there to come and say hello. Here are the dates that it is going to be happening. We've got the one in Edinburgh, which has actually happened now. That happened this past Saturday. It's happening in Cardiff in a couple of days. The one in Paris has been cancelled. But it is still happening in Lyon on the 2nd of December as it stands at the moment. We've then got Munich on Wednesday the 6th, all of December obviously, Berlin on Saturday the 9th, Bochum on Saturday the 16th, and then finishing up on Tuesday the 19th of December in London. I am hoping to be able to get out to that one, and then, I don't know, maybe we'll run a competition, and we'll see, and I'll just post to whoever wins a competition. That seems like a good idea, right? So keep your eyes open, hopefully in the next week or so. If I can confirm I'm going to be attending that one, maybe we'll do a little giveaway on the channel and I'll post it to one of you guys. Because look, I've told you that what I really want Poker Post to be. For those that don't know, by the way, let's just be clear. Essentially, there's a Pikachu and an Eevee. And when you turn up, they give you one and then you can post the other one to a friend at no cost. They, they cover the cost of postage. And I said in the video previously, I really hope people use this to actually send it to their mates and not just send it to themselves. Because it's just going to be really nice to send it to your mates and then they get a nice little surprise. So if I can attend... I'm not going to one in Cardiff anymore. It's too far to drive. But if I can attend the one in London, we'll do a giveaway on the channel 
And I'll see if I can send some poker posts to one of you lovely ladies and gentlemen. And that'll be fun. Sounds like fun anyway. It's not ideal that the one in Paris has been cancelled, I admit. But at least there are a bunch of others that can be attended. And I know that Paris and Lyon are not exactly side by side. I do understand that. But there is at least one other one going on in France. Yes, I know that Paris and Lyon are a little distance apart. Uh, according to Google Maps, it is a five-hour drive or a two-hour train. Or a four-day walk. Don't walk it. So, yes, I understand they're not right next to each other. But just the fact there is another one in France is... It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. But at least there is still one going on there. So there we go. We got the new tins we've been waiting for. We got a Charizard Jumbo, which looks awesome. And we've got bad news about Poker Post being cancelled in Paris. That's what you need to know. And now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about all of this in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, and all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely Mary Sanders Lazenby, who's been a supporter of ours for a long time and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.